just finished doing that release and um, the ladies called me as you probably heard while I was on filming the release and she said it's a yellow belly black snake you know and I know we all know it's a green tree snake come on dude I've got a cement truck in front of me he's on the phone and the dickhead clipped the gutter before and he nearly rolled his truck and he still hasn't put his phone down for god's sake roll the truck but don't put your phone down but anyway 500 metres away from this core, but it could take me a month to get there at this rate. Should have seen how close he was to rolling and all the shit in the back of his truck went flying in the air. But anyway, as long as he doesn't miss the call, he's probably putting a bet on, seeing as it's um, Melbourne Cup Day. After 300 metres, turn right. Just finally off the phone. Should take a 30 seconds of that. How are you? Alright, are you? Oh, I'm very good, thank you. Good. Where's this unwelcome visitor of yours? <laughs> well, he was sort of making, but he, he must have heard me he give you a ring and yeah. he's bugged it off. I'll go and have a look. Good morning, Tony Harrison speaking. Where was he? Just under the wall there. Further what, sorry? Today? Yes, it is. Yeah, 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 I would normally ring the day before. No, I haven't as yet. I've been flat strapped um, catching snakes and doing other shows, but um. No worries, mate. I'll see you on Friday. Bye bye. We were sunbathing on the. It was down in the blocks. Between the blocks here. Is that over the other side of the wall? He went down. Uh huh, did he? Yeah. Cheeky fellow. I went along the wall and went down that stuff at the other end. No, what these guys do is they cruise around knocking off the old geckos and the frogs that are inside your wall here. So he cruises along putting his, putting his nose in every crack, looking plenty, trying to find them. It's about a metre long. Let me have a look at something. Not up high, is he? In the roof. I bet there's a hollow down here behind you, your wall there. Yeah, I've seen all the skinks coming out, so they're probably aware of it. Lizards here, isn't there? There's a lot of lizards here. Those little skinks.
Was he sitting there with his head lifted up off the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Little tree snake he is. A little what? Tree snake. Oh yeah. Which is a harmless snake, unless of course you're a frog or a gecko. He's, um, he's sitting there with his head hooked. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's a tree, underneath. tree snake. Yeah. Because we had it, what was it, last time you came, it was a yellow banded black snake or something you called it. Hmm. Yeah, you you said it was uh, a nasty bite. bite. That was right down there. Under the brook. But you there. caught a it. A yellow faced whip snake. It was pregnant. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. But possibly. No, I bet you don't. Too many of them. I usually do remember the snakes, but yeah. You said it was a yellow, yellow faced whip snake? Yellow belly. Or, no, not yellow belly. You said that the bite was. Painful but not deadly. Painful, yeah. It's probably a yellow faced whip snake because they hang around these rock retaining walls. They grow over that long. They're a brown with a yellow thing around their face. Possibly. Or uh, it could be anything. Yeah, I mean, you could have been brown. You looked too dark on top. I don't think you went to Here he is over here. <clears throat> right there. About that big. Ah, he's pretty good at that. They make a living out of staying out of your hair. And he was doing, sticking his head in the bricks, looking for frogs. Poo. They smell these guys. They put off a smell in defense. And they get a parasite from eating frogs. And this guy is riddled with them. It's a worm that lives under the skin. You can see the lumps all over him. He's in really, really bad condition. Really bad condition. When they're in this condition, they usually, of these guys normally take a bit to bite, but then, when they're in this condition, they'll bite pretty readily. As I was about to say, listen, you've got to wait for your cue before you do your stuff, mate. I wasn't, you wasn't ready for you yet. Cheeky bugger. Oh, so he's biting the camera, look. Look what he's done to me too. Oh, oh. on the thumb as well. You're a bad snake. Hey, eh? look what he did to my hand. Anyway, luckily for me, he's a non-venomous snake. The worst thing about him is he puts off a smell in defense, and he's doing that a lot too, and that bothers me more than what he's done to my wrist. <laughs> How come you find it so funny, watching me get some pain? <laughs> but you're worried more about the smell than you are about the bite. Yeah, no, the, the, the smell is pretty horrible. How the hell did he get across that? Oh, he's pretty... He, he probably climbed behind the wall the whole way along, behind, behind, all the way along, and oh, then popped up yeah. over there. Anyway, I'll stick him in the car before he does any more damage to me. He's going to try and eat my camera. They normally don't draw blood when they bite you, but this guy, he must have extra long teeth. Either that or I'm getting old and my skin's getting thinner. Join the club. We're all getting older. Yeah, that's it. Better than the alternatives. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> better than the alternatives. Getting old is better than getting dead. What are you done to me, you cheeky shit? Eh? Drew blood. <laughs>